Kelly hits the entertainment bullseye every week with her hard riding. Straight shooting. And suspense. Don't tell me it's the homework that's so fascinating. It sure is. Miss Hathaway must be softening up. This isn't work. This is fun. Robin Hood's adventures. You know, for the past 20 years, everyone she's taught has had to read this. I think it's about time she gave it up. Gave up Robin Hood? Oh, I know he was supposed to be highly moral, but he did break laws. Yeah, unfair laws. Laws the rich people made. Well, maybe so, but I have yet to see two wrongs that make a right. Oh, you're just sore because you and Lofty haven't found the Robin Hood kid yet, aren't you? Well, we haven't found him yet, Tag, but we will. And remember this, you can break laws, but eventually the law breaks you. Well, all he's done really is to warn the big ranchers to leave the homesteaders alone. But he still isn't helping the homesteaders one bit, Tag, by tearing down the ranchers' fences and stampeding their stock. Any luck, Lofty? Yeah, plenty. It's all bad. I talked to almost every homesteader in the county. None of them could tell you who the Robin Hood kid really is? I know one of them would. Lofty, don't they realize that the big ranchers are so steamed up there's liable to be a range war? I told them, Annie. I begged with them, I pleaded with them to wait till the governor's committee gets here before they take any action. What good can a committee do? The state will lend them money and help them dig new wells. And then the homesteaders will have their own water and they won't have to depend on the ranchers for anything. They did this two years ago in Mesa County. And they didn't need any Robin Hood kid. <laughs> Annie, 
Was anything taken? When you're the teller, Court, you'd better check. The vault wasn't touched. Neither was a cash drawer. Oh, Mr. Owen, I'm certainly glad you're here. Glad? With my bank nearly blown up? Nothing was taken, Mr. Owen. Well, that's a relief. Annie, look! An arrow, the Robin Hood kid. The Robin Hood kid? This should convince you your bank can be looted, and it will be unless it helps the homesteaders. A thing like this would start a run on the bank. But nothing was taken, Mr. Rowan. One of you better go out there and reassure those people. Yes, but we run the bank. Would they believe what we told them? Well, why don't you do it, Annie? Go on. I'll help them straighten things up here. Everything's all right, folks. We've all checked the bank and nothing's missing. Apparently, this was just another gesture with a Robin Hood kid, but not a cent was taken. So if you'll all go on home, the bank will be open again tomorrow morning as usual. <laughs> Need some cash. Why do you suddenly need 3,000? If you stayed on the ranch where you belong, you'd know why. Dad, let's not go into that argument again. Just because I went to college and prefer banking to ranching. Just give me the money and there'll be no argument. How's it going to look after what happened here yesterday? The teller's father drawing out his money. I don't care how it looks. It's my money, son, and don't you forget it. In that case, perhaps you'd feel happier drawing out the entire account. Maybe I would. Get me the full amount of my deposit while I write out a new check. Oh, Mr. Donnelly. Hiya, Pat. Something we can do for you? You bet there is. I want an escort out to my place. Escort? You ain't caught that Robin Hood kid yet, have you? No. All right, I want an escort. I got $27,000 right here, and I'm making sure it gets home safe. Look, Mr. Donnelly, your money is none of my business, but having that much around the house is... I know what I'm doing. I'm a taxpayer, and a big taxpayer. All I want from you is the protection I'm entitled to. All right, Pat. That's more like it. So far, so good. Yeah, and I reckon I owe you an apology for barking at you like it did. That's all right. We're used to barking taxpayers by now. <laughs> I bet you are. It's getting late, Miss Annie. You two better get on back to town. Well, we've seen you this far. We might as well see you safe inside. Oh, you've done enough already for a dissatisfied taxpayer. <laughs> Go on, it's all right. All right. Bye, Pat. I'll see if Pat's all right.
be there with me. Well, Gabe, Cal, didn't a man ride up here just now? Man ride up here? Yeah, a man. A man wearing a hooded mask. Reckon he means the Robin Hood kid, Paul? I didn't come up here to play games. And uh, where do you figure you're going? Who went inside to find him? Better not, deputy, without a search warrant. By the time I got one, where do you think you'd be? Paul says go get a warrant. Mr. Upton, for saving you from a murder charge. No one searches my house without a warrant. How's Pat, Annie? He's all right now. The money? It's gone. All $27,000. Serving blame right, if you ask me. All I'm asking you is to let me go inside. He just told us, Lottie. He won't let us in without a warrant. You've got enough damage now. Thank you to get out of here. We're going. But just remember one thing. Even though the Robin Hood kid tries to help you, there's only one thing he can do, and that is to get you in trouble. Come on, Lottie. Us, hood and cape and everything. Tag, when are you gonna stop thinking of him as a hero? He stole every dollar Mr. Donnelly had. And every rancher knows it. And they're plenty mad. I called a meeting for tonight. I just hope they don't try to take things into their own hands. We only had some idea who this Robin Hood kid might be. I bet you I know. That Nestor, Cal Upton. I doubt it, Tag. He hasn't had enough education to write a note like the one you found at the bank. Yeah, and he never went to Miss Hathaway school and had Robin Hood drilled into him as a hero. No. No. But we know someone who did. Who's that, Annie? Lofty, I know this sounds crazy, but whoever was laying for Pat knew he had the money on him. Naturally. Annie, you don't mean Court, not his own kid. Why not? Court's never made any bones about his feelings since the ranchers have refused to let the homesteaders use their water, has he? That's right. That's why he left his father's ranch and moved to town. Ever since he came back from college, all he ever talks about is what he calls the underdog. Yeah. But we're only guessing, Lofty. Tag, you go on over to the bank and ask Court to stop by here later. All right, Annie. Gosh, I feel like a real Sherlock Holmes. Tell Lofty I'll drop over right after the bank closes. Well, all right. I have a little business down the street. Would you mind closing up for me today? Oh, not at all. Go ahead, Court. Oh, you better check that back door. The lock has been sticking. Out of your minds? You admit that no one else could have known your father drew out all that money. Well, of course I admit it. But I certainly wouldn't advertise the fact that my father thought more of his money than he does at the bank. The reputation of his own son. Court, ever since I can remember, you've always been ashamed of the fact that your father had money and had made a success. That depends on what you mean by success, doesn't it? Well, even back when you were in school, you had a reputation for being a soft touch for any hard luck story, always trying to do the right thing. Well, for your information, there are a lot of other people that are trying to do the right thing, too. But in an orderly fashion. Well, I'm glad to find out what you'd take me for. Are you through? I'm not. You can't hold me here. I know my rights. Look, Court, we've all made mistakes. If you are the Robin Hood kid, admit it now before it's too late. Would you like to prove I am? 
convince a jury you identified a man through a hooded mask? Well, now, because of it, anybody can put on a hood and commit all sorts of crimes. And the Robin Hood kid will be blamed for it. Well, if that isn't the most far-fetched piece of... Kid got away. How bad is he, Annie? He'll be all right, Court. Lofty and I owe you an apology. Never mind that. I'll go for the doctor. Lofty, get that cushion off the chair. I'll be all right. Maybe it will still overtake the Robin Hood kid. Owen's been shot, so a couple of you better stay with him. Court's already gone for the doctor. Let's start at Gabe Upton's. Someone after him again, Paul. You better get inside. Two bags. Your Paul must be made of money. trouble with you and Cal. If the Robin Hood kid's in there, it's him we're after. No, the minute they'll be in here. I'm getting out through the tunnel. What tunnel? Well, the tunnel. You ain't court. What are you, local idiot? Did you hear those shots? Yeah. They're not aiming at us. There's something funny going on. I think you're right, Annie. I'm going to rush the place. You were right, Deputy. That Robin Hood fella's a vicious coyote. Sure ain't gonna find out yet. Now turn around. All right, Donnelly, we're getting out of here. 
on your horse. Get up there. around so your back's toward me. You'd better, deputy. Now get down. Get up. Was the Robin Hood kid act your own idea, Court? Or did the Uptons put you up to it? Well, I talked them into it after I found out about their tunnel. Miss Hathaway always made Robin Hood sound so romantic. Pat, why did you draw that money out in the first place? Well, I thought if we helped the homesteaders a little, uh, 3,000 maybe, it'd quiet them down, we'd stop the range war. Then when he drew it all out, I became worried about it, so I took it away from him for safekeeping. You weren't too gentle about it either, son. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dad. Well, it's safe now. Martin Owen told me that you redeposited the whole amount to your father's account on the very same day. At least I did one thing right. And I learned my lesson, too. In a democracy, people have to work together to solve their problems. One man can't take it upon himself and do it his way. I guess that's what Robin Hood wanted the people to learn in the old days. Well, the old days are gone. So let's all get together and form a committee to get Miss Hathaway to quit using Robin Hood and start using Pilgrim's Progress. <laughs> <laughs> 